Hi there, full gamers and viewers. I'm Tommy. This is Hard Made Easy. The Lost Zone Operation Challenges have finally been released, and this is how to clear them. To get these Lost Perfect Challenge Emblem, I will mainly use the Death Walker build for these challenges. The Death Walker build is the red armor of a Quaitus and Void Waker Emblem. For some challenges I may customize my setup and when I do I will walk you through what I changed and why. Remember to like and subscribe for more useful Survivor IO tutorials. With no further ado, let's clear these Lost Zone Operation challenges! The monster boosters for challenge 16 will not make this challenge that much harder. There is a new one that I haven't seen before. Spawns a powerful elite tree at intervals. I guess there have been like a miss in uh, translation and I'm guessing we are facing three elites at intervals. I'm gonna show you a little trick how to have lesser <laughs> lasers to think about. When you see this and they change to that one. Move over to the other side and you will just have one laser to think about. This little trick will make the boss fights easier as well. And it's time for the first boss fight. So far, this challenge has been very easy. I have the Spirit Shuriken and I do have a Awakened Murica. We will be able to kill this boss in seconds. Yeah, not even one second. Time for the second boss, Runer Turret. And it's gone. Murica is very effective against bosses. The Death Walker build means you take fatal damage and you enter soul state. Up to the left corner, you will see the count of the souls and you will replenish souls when you kill mobs so you have to be able to kill off the mobs fast enough and you will be unstoppable unkillable immortal during this time when the souls runs out you will die meaning the death walker build is ineffective on challenges chapters levels missions with a low mobs count or with mobs that uh, takes a long time to kill now, when I have entered soul state, I will just position myself in the middle. Be AFK, waiting for the boss. Two bosses, mutant major. And that walking robot. Can't remember the name for it. And that's how to beat challenge 16. Monster booster for challenge 17 can be a little bit annoying. You don't want the mobs to get too close to you. So focus on a weapon skill build that will be able to kill them off at range. I'm playing with reduced VFX, meaning my weapon skills will be transparent. You find the reduce VFX option in the settings menu on the main menu or uh, main window of Survivor Io in game. First boss. And there we go. The laser trick that I show you on challenge 16 works even better on open maps. Next boss fight. Last boss fight maybe. No. We only have 5 minutes mark. As soon as you get the chance, pick HE fuel. This will increase the range and size on all your weapon skills. This will help you deal with the monster booster on this challenge. The weapon skill that will help you the most on this challenge is the Guardian. The Guardian will push the mobs back and the mobs will have a harder time reaching the red circle. Next boss fight. Will this be the last one for this challenge? 
We are facing Mega Pin. We were facing Mega Pinsir, and we were facing Ocean Lord. And that's how to clear Zone Operation Challenge 17. The Monster Booster on Challenge 18 will make this challenge a lot harder, especially for those uh, like me who use Eternal Gloves. Astral Forge. The first star on the Astral Forge restores 1% HP when monsters is defeated with critical hits. The monster booster no critical hits trigger will prevent me from healing when I do critical, critical kills. EXP beans will disappear after a while. This will make it a lot harder to level up. I highly recommend you to pick up the passive skill high power magnet because the exp beans will disappear quick for the death walker build to work on this challenge i need to be able to kill all of the mobs and to be able to kill all of the mobs i need to level up to get my weapon skills that will help me <laughs> kill all of the mobs on this challenge king will be useless you are using king because of the crit rate and the crit damage increase with king and on challenge 18 there will be no critical hits triggered therefore i will use common instead the lightning strikes will happen after eight seconds so when you see this bubble appear just start counting mississippis when you reach eight mississippis the lion will strike We have entered soul state now. The only thing I need to think about from now on is to get these like barrier thingies that will keep me warm. <laughs> and here we have the high power magnet. Perfect. During boss fights, you have to make sure you are able to kill the boss in like 10 seconds. I was down to 8 souls, but now we will replenish them and we will get back to 19. I think these are the last two bosses for this challenge. It is. And that's how to clear challenge 18. The monster booster for challenge 19 will indeed make it a lot harder. The two monster boosters, player bullets have great chance to deal 1 damage. And monsters gain 3 shield stacks. These two will make it a lot harder to kill off the mobs. And therefore it will be harder to use the death walker build. I will still try it. But it can be hard. Shield stack is this red thing above the mob's head. That shield stack will block one damage, no matter the damage you do. And now when they have three shield stacks, it will take a lot longer to kill off the mobs. For shield stacks, pick up weapon skills that do continuous damage. The Molotov is great to melt those shield stacks away. The drones do a good job as well. The soccer ball is a very good choice as well. And also the kunai. Evo into the shuriken. Pets can't be rescued. Meaning when a pet is knocked down you can't bring it back up. To counter this monster boost. Make sure you have this one equipped. Vampirism. Every attack will heal 1%. And Awaken Murka have a high fire rate. So Vampirism will keep my Merka healthy. And we get both the soccer ball and the Molotov right away. That is a very, very lucky start. We were very close of reaching soul state. And I'm a little bit scared. Alright, we have reached the soul step. Alright, let's let's go.
We are down to 10 souls. Let's see if we can replenish these souls. Alright, we are increasing. We're still at 9 though. Up to 10, 11, 12. And we are back to 19. Alright. So I entered soul state at the 4 minute mark. And right now it works. At the 5 minute mark I can just stand still in the middle and let my Deathwalker build and my weapon skill do its thing. And we are doing good. When I'm standing a little bit to the left, all the mobs will be spawning from the right. And that will make it easier to kill the mob off fast. I need to kill off these two fast though. Steel Nasher and Disaster Alpha. And we did it with with six souls to go. From what I can read here about challenge 20, this will be the hardest challenge so far, at least for these five challenges that I have showed you today. And it should be hard because it's challenge 20. It is the last challenge. EXP bean will disappear after a while. Pick up the high power magnet. Playbills have a great chance to deal one damage. Annoying. Especially with when player is within a certain distance. Monsters gain plus one shield stacks at intervals. So I will use the death walker build on this one. Try to see if it works. Depending how fast I can get the <laughs> high power magnet. Uh, this may take a few tries. On this challenge, you have to think about both the Oxian thingy, thinglingy, I hate that one because I always forget about it. And you also have to think about the cold effect. We have already entered soul state, and this will be a burst. I will not be able to get my souls back up again. We are facing the boss. We are down to one soul and we will die right away. Boom. I will try one more time. With the death walker build. Hopefully we will get the high power magnet quicker this time. I wonder if I mix up the cool effect with the, the fire effect. Because your weapons will get overheated with the fire effect and your fire rate will decrease. I really thought it did that <laughs> with the freeze effect as well. The monster count decreased a little at the 6 minute mark. And I'm down to 12 souls. We need to kill off these two really quick. Yeah, this may be a bust. We are down to two souls. The mobs need to be spawning fast. No, we are dead. So I will not use the Deathwalker build because I am not able to kill off the mobs in time. I will use a full set of Eternal instead. We got a new icon from the latest update. You see it up in the left corner. And it shows me how many revives I have left. This change is something a lot of players have requested for a long time. Example, I can't tell you how many times that I have forgot about how many times I have died on purpose to get a revive boost during Endless Echo. A very bad run. In previous challenges with this EXP being disappearing after a while, it really feels like they have lowered the spawn rate on the high power magnet.
<laughs> all right back again after taking a well needed <laughs> break because i felt the game was acting out on me and for those who will claim it's a skill issue and not a rng issue i hope you step on lego yeah! making you stumble and uh, hit your toe on the bed i will claim it's not a rng issue it's you having a skill issue on walking <laughs> okay i think i have two choices one defensive method and one very aggressive uh, offensive method and i do like to be this aggressive player let's change back to the death walker build and let's not go for the <laughs> let's not go for the long range build this time let's keep the mobs nice and close and i don't want to enter the soul state before the first boss i'm at level four and it's <laughs> one and a half minutes in oh hi power magnet <laughs> hi there well, this will make it a lot easier to level up. And if I can get it to three stars... Uh, I don't have to move that much to be able to pick up the biofuel or EXP beans. Actually, I don't like to call it EXP beans because... Since the very beginning of the game, they have called it... Um, they ha have called it biofuel. So it's very weird to me that they changed this. It's like they uh, will change the name for the kunai to like pointy throwy thingy thingy. Thinglingy. Right, let's see if we can get... Oh, I doubt we will get the one more star to the magnet. Or maybe... No. Maybe the Kugin Ninja Scroll to be able to level up even faster. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh, we already entered Soul State. And <laughs> I only have three stars up with my kunai. Alright, so now I don't have to worry about me taking damage. So I will run around in this like small circle. And try to round the mobs up to be able to kill them fast enough. Alright, we see a decrease in monster spawn now. Oh, we um, must kill these ones fast. We're down to ten souls. All right, come on. I need new mobs to spawn real quick here. We're down to five. We are back up to 12. And now we are leveling up in a good pace as well. This one is looking good. All right, eight minutes mark and we are keeping our souls count steady at 19. And I think we only have uh, one and a half minute left of this challenge. The Molotov is doing wonders of melting those annoying chill stacks away. The good thing with the Death Walker build on Zone Operation is that you eliminate so many of the monster boosters. Because you can't get killed. You only have to make sure your soul count uh, keeps up. Because now I don't have to worry about the laser, the oxygen, the cold effect. And now, when we have everything just right, we can continue being AFK. And I think this will be the last boss fight, and then we will clear the last zone operation challenge. Yeah, we are done. With this. <laughs> America actually got killed there. Sorry, America. And now we have access to the extreme challenge. For you guys who have reached the extreme challenge before, you know what to do. Alright. And that's how to clear the last zone operation challenges during this uh, season or uh, whatever. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, please remember to like, subscribe and put on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Until next time, take care, bye!